In section 1.5, we're going to talk about dividing uh, whole numbers. Now here, um, because you're not allowed to use a calculator on tests, it's easiest just to do everything with long division. So the first one I'm going to do is if you're given something like 3, 2, 3, 9, divided by 79. Okay, so change this into be a long division. So say 79 into 39, or 32, 39. So 79 divided into 3, 2, 3, 9. So what you're going to do is see if 79 will go into the numbers here. So first, it won't go into the 3. It won't go into the 2. But it will go into 323. And it'll go into that four times. So now you're going to go four times 79. And you're going to put it right on. You can put the, uh, whatever it divided into the last digit of that part. So four times nine is 36. Four times um, seven is 28. Plus three is 31. Then you can subtract 323 minus 316 and get seven. And now we're going to bring down the nine. And 79 will go into uh, 79 one time. One times 79 is 79 with zero remaining. Now what you want to do here, when you subtract, this number needs to be smaller than whatever you're dividing into the main number, which it was, it was only 7. But if we got something like 80, then we know that we would have needed um, this number to be bigger. So anyway, another one, let's say 15 into 1020. So 15 divided into 1,020. So 15 will go into 102 six times. Six times 15 is 90. And we're going to have a 12 remaining. Bring the zero down. 15 will go into 120 eight times. Eight times 15 is 120. So we get a zero remaining. Next, we're going to have a few things. 0 divided by x, which is 0 divided by anything, is going to equal 0. But if we have anything divided by 0, that's going to be undefined or DNE for does not exist. So this is what's really important. If 0 is on top, the answer is going to be 0. If 0 is on bottom of the fraction, it's going to be undefined. Next, we're going to have some word problems, and it's going to be using the distance equals rate times time. So it's D equals RT. This is often called dirt. Um, you're going to see it a lot in this class, the next class, and in pretty much most of the classes that you're going to have. We use this a lot. So um, one question is that a person travels... 1,690 miles and it um, takes 300 or um, it's going 338 miles per hour is um, I think an airplane question and it's asking you how long it's going to take so the plane is going 16 1,690 miles and it's going 338 miles per hour so how long is it going to take? So what we're going to do is solve this by dividing 338 into 1690. So I'm going to have 338 into 1690. And this is going to go, I'm going to guess five times. One way that I do this to be a guess is look at the first number and the first part of here. Three will go into 16 about five, time, five times. So we're going to check that one first. So 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 15, or 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, 5 times 5, 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, and 0 remainder. So the answer here is going to be 5 hours. Next is, um, I'm going to give a few um, common things that you're going to see. So if we have 130 divided by 10, that equals 13. If we have 1300 divided by 100, that equals 13. 
if we have 1320 divided by 1000, that's going to be equal 1.320. So here, when we're dividing by a multiple of 10, really all we have to do is move the decimal spot over however many zeros there are in the um, number that we're dividing by. So here we're dividing by 10, which is 1 and 1 zero. So bring the decimal over one spot and we get 13. With 1300, we divide by 100. So we have two zeros, so 1, 2, and we still get 13. Here we divide by 1000, which is three zeros. So I moved it over 1, 2, 3, and 1.320 is the answer. That's a shortcut that you can do. Um, you don't have to, you can just do the divisions. Um, this is just one way to make things easier. And we use it a lot in a bunch of other future um, topics. So it is a good thing to know um, when you're dividing by 10. Um, opposite is when you're multiplying by 10, you just, or a factor of 10, you just add that many zeros to the end of it. And that is it for 1.5. Five um, for the credit. What I want you to send me is the rules for zero. So it was zero divided by anything equals zero, and anything divided by zero equals undefined or does not exist. I believe in most of yours, you're going to actually have to type in DNE um, for that. Other math programs um, just say um, no real number or undefined. Here they want DNE for does not exist for a lot of them.